today I'm going to show you a selection of really cool science experiments. They're all done with things you might be able to find around the house. And they're easy to do, so you can try them out at home. For the first one, we need to tear off a piece of kitchen foil. Spread it out nice and flat. And use some scissors to cut it into a circle, like this. Next, we need to use the scissors again to cut the circle into a spiral. I stayed about an inch from the outside wall of the circle and kept cutting round and around until I reached the centre. Lay it back flat and there's our spiral. Next, we need to take a bit of plasticine and stick some to the table. We're going to be using this to hold a kebab skewer vertically, like this. With the pointy bit sticking up. Then take your foil circle, extend it out and cut it to about the same length as the skewer. Then we need to loop it over the skewer and pinch the centerpiece over the top of the skewer so it sits on top and hangs, with a skewer running through the middle. Use your scissors to cut the foil again, so it hangs a few inches above the surface. And if you need to, adjust it a little so it's nice and uniform and not touching the skewer. It should rotate nice and freely. Next, place a tea light candle underneath and light it up. And you can see straight away it starts to rotate. The rising heat from the candle flame causes the foil to spin like a turbine. You need to make sure it spins freely at the top and it looks really awesome. This is it from the top. I put it up against a darker background, so it stands out a bit more. It's really simple to make, and you can see it does work well, even just with one candle. But I thought it would be fun to try it with two. The additional heat from the second candle makes it spin a lot quicker. And it'll keep going like this until the candles burn out. Or of course until you blow them out and it'll stop straight away. Then start the moment you light them again. For the next one, I'm taking a drinking glass and filling it with coke about two-thirds of the way. Then I'm taking some bleach and I'm using it to top up the glass. I gave it a stir with a skewer and sat back to see what happens. You can watch it becoming clearer and clearer. The dark colour of the coke has pretty much completely disappeared. The whole thing took about five minutes. There is a small yellowy tinge but you would never imagine it was two-thirds full of coke. Of course, you must not drink this and dispose of it carefully. This time I decided to pour the bleach in first. I poured the coke on top
and pretty much the same thing happened. The bleach has stripped out all the colour from the coke. For the next one, I'm taking this piece of thick paper and I'm using some scissors to cut it into a sort of pointy boat shape. Then I cut out a thin channel running up the centre of the boat, like this. Next, we need to take a tray and tip in a pool of water. To propel the boat, we're only going to be using washing up liquid. Place the boat onto the water and apply one drop of soap onto the end of the channel in the middle of the boat. The moment the soap touches the water, the boat shoots off. Once it's got to the other side though, it doesn't really come back. And even if we dab a bit more soap into the channel, nothing really happens. To reuse it, we need to change the water, removing any trace of soap. Or do it again on a fresh tray. This time I made this really small version of the boat to see how well that works. I put it in and applied my drop of soap. And off it goes. Pretty cool, huh? Adding a drop of washing up liquid breaks down the water's surface tension and creates enough force to push the boat across the surface. Once the surface tension has been broken down, you can't do it again, so you need to replace the water. For this one, I'm using a champagne flute, pouring in some baby oil, and adding a splash of water, which sinks to the bottom. I'm also adding a couple of drops of food colouring. And then giving it a stir. This is going to be our DIY lava lamp in a glass. To activate it, I'm using an Alka-Seltzer tablet. I took one out and snapped off just a little bit. Drop it in the glass and watch what happens. It doesn't take long before the coloured liquid starts rising to the top. Then it drops back down to the bottom in a kind of cycle. If you want to, you can add a drop more water to it and more of the tablet. And you can see that a frothy head is developing at the top of the glass. Try to leave enough space so it doesn't trickle over. It looks really pretty, and I really like this deep red colour. For this one, I'm doing it in a larger glass. I'm adding a bit more water. And this time I'm using blue food colouring. Add a piece of the tablet and watch the magic occur. And for the final experiment, we're going to start by peeling an orange. And it's not for the fruit we're after. We're actually after the peel. And if you pinch it like this, you spray out a small amount of fluid called limonene. And if we spray this liquid onto a balloon, it weakens the surface and causes it to pop. 
Ready? Pretty cool, huh? I tied a few balloons together and tried it on these. They didn't pop straight away, but they did all go. These two didn't burst, so I'm adding a bit more of the spray, and they didn't last long. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you like science, you might want to check out the new t-shirt designs in my merch store. There's a link in the description. And if you want to see more videos, you can click here. Or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.